how to create concentric circles in Illustrator 221, 220, 219, etc., PC or Mac. Go over to the Tools panel, Line Segment Tool, down to Polar Grid. Press Return, and you've got the default size. I'm going for 800 by 800. Also, concentric dividers, I'm going to go with 10. Skew set to 0, set to 0 there as well. Radial dividers, 0. That's the key thing, 0. Fill grid is on, click OK. Now, sometimes it doesn't create it first time around. So click again, then click OK. Very unusual tool at times, but that's the way it works. You've got your concentric circles now. What you can do, you can go up here to stroke, maybe set that to 8 point, maybe 16 point. You can vary the size. And now you've got all your circles, they're all concentric. So you've got a nice gap, even gap. All the way across. You can of course change the color. Now you're changing the color for the entire thing. If you want to, what you can do, you can go to object, selected, object, ungroup, object, ungroup. And now they're ungrouped, you can go and change the colors. Maybe go for blue, maybe go for this one, and go for red. You can change the colors. You can also select the individual stroke to go for maybe three point. You can vary it so it doesn't have to be completely uniform, but you've got your concentric circles, which you can modify. You can also, if you wish, apply width profiles to them as well. So variable width profile, maybe select the first one, and you can create some variation of concentric circles. That's one route. What you can also do, you can also go to, let's just create a circle by the ellipse tool. So ellipse tool, and just quickly create that. And then go to properties. Click there. And I'm going to go with 800 first. So I'm just going to make it consistent so I can, I don't have to do them. That will be 800, 800. Okay. Fill there, set, stroke, etc. Now duplicate that design. So go over to the selection tool, hold down the alter option key on your keyboard and just duplicate that. Now that one, I want to be 700 because I want a gap of 100. So I know exactly what it is. So 700 there and 700 there. And again, alter option, and go there to 600 and 600. And the reason I actually deselected that is you might want concentric circles that are slightly different. You maybe want to have go from 600 the other one to be 500. So you can create some variations on that. And again, hold down the alter option key and go for 500 and 500. Okay, it does take a little bit longer than using the polar grid. Select both of those, all those, and go over here to the alignments. So just align them. You can see them then. Now what you can do, of course, you can always change the color. So maybe go for fill, maybe go for red, Maybe go for there, and so on and so on. So you can create all number of different designs using this approach. And of course, what you can also do, you can always go over here to stroke and maybe go for 16 point, etc. Create a variation of the concentric circle. Once you've created those, another thing you can do that if you want, you can always put them to your symbols panel. So find the symbols panel, there's the symbols there, and you can see I've got some symbols there, so I can just remove that one. And just drag that across, and you can see early ones that I created. So, some variations on the theme of concentric circles. I hope you found this tutorial of interest. Please add a comment or two, a dislike or like, always appreciated. Thank you much.